Uh, hello? Hey everyone. What is up? Welcome. We are streaming some Once Human. Let me see if my thing is working. Should be working. Oh, I got stuff. Stuff in here anyways. Uh, Once Human, this is the upcoming, uh... This is the upcoming open world looter shooter uh, game thing we've been tracking, talking about for a while, done a few videos talking about it. We're gonna do a sponsored stream today. Thanks Starry Studios for sponsoring this game I was playing anyways. It's really, I mean, perfect, <laughs> you know? Uh, so this is the uh, new CBT. It's currently underway. Uh, there should be stuff for you guys to register if you want to check it out yourself, which I, I, you know, check it out while it's in beta to see if you're interested. Uh, that's at least how I am with these things, especially how, you know, you know how things can sometimes change when games are released compared to how they are in the beta, you know how that can happen. I played... I had, you know what I, you know what I played in the beta? I had a blast with? Arcade, you guys remember Arcade? That beta? That was some MMO fun. And uh, <laughs> that's basically my mentality. I feel like nowadays I'm like, all right, I, I, I gotta play the beta because things can be different when it launches. So let me just play the beta. <laughs> and then that way, if, if I'm gonna have a good time, I can have my good time. Uh. <laughs> Subtext, little subtext in here. I uh, love it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just play some Once Human today, and um, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. I we played a, a crap ton of the last beta, which ran from I want to say it started in mid December, and it ran up through like or it started in December and it ran up through like mid January or something like that. And then this this one just started uh, last week. Let me check. I think it was it was supposed to start the 4th and it started the 5th or something like that. It started like about a week ago and there's like a little over a month left in it. So there, there's plenty of time. Uh, I'll show you some of what it is. Uh, you know, if you haven't seen... Am I peeking hard? Test? Hello? It's... If I feel like... Let me just tone it down a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I think that's better. I think that's those levels are better. This is what happens when you stream like once in Eon. Um, I think every, everything looks like it's in working order. I got links in the description. Nightbot is spamming for me. Thank you, Nightbot. And uh, yeah, all right. So if you haven't watched any of the videos, if you haven't seen any of my previews in, uh, about Once Human, no, it's not just about sleeping in a bed. It is a third person uh, looter shooter with like, it's got the MMO stuff and we're gonna go around and I'll show you some of the MMO stuff. It's got um, like survival mechanics. So what does that mean, Dennis? What are you talking about? Well, you can run into invisible walls like this one. That's a survival game staple. Like what is this supposed to be? Actually, actually what's happening right now? Because I don't, Hold up. Are we good? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> One second. I feel like there's an issue. Hold up. Let me summon my bicycle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Just checking. Is it me? Let me check. Stream is healthy. Nope, it's not me. So... <laughs> you can't... I mean... You... <laughs> 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 okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? We can... Log out real quick. Here we go. 
Hey everybody. Let me just log out real quick. And then I'll log back in. I think I changed the scaling. Does the scaling on my camera look right? It don't. Let's log out and log back in. And let's check it out. <laughs> One more time. I just, I had a swap in the screen because I don't know what sort of stuff it's going to show if I leave this up here. <laughs> yeah, the face cams. Oh, uh, you know what? I got a new one, by the way. I won't show it so there's no conflicting brand thing in a sponsor stream. I don't know if this would do it, but from a, I got a cam, I got a new webcam. It's going to be, it says it's in 4K. That's crazy. That's too many Ks for my face, but um, I'm going to probably swap to that like next week or something like that. Because this thing, it's it's done a great job for me. I've had it for some time, but, you know, it's like th a three Ps total, so. <clears throat> is this coming to uh, mobile as well? Yes, this is one of the many, <laughs> many new MMOs in development that are, that are going to be like cross-platform and stuff. I, I tell you, though, I'm not, and I'm not just saying it because it's sponsored. It feels like it's a straight-up PC game, though. Like... There's clearly, like, elements of it that, like, lean into the mobile side of things. But other than that, like, it, it, it still, it, it's a, it plays like a third-person looter shooter. All right, now that we're not running into invisible walls and whatever the heck just happened there, no idea. I want to show you the game and talk about the game. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and grab some ammunition. I just rearranged my house last time I was in here. So, I might be... Where did all my SMG ammo go? I swear I had some. Wait, why is the screen still the loading screen? Guys. Just give me one second. I just set this all up and it was working fine. Guys. Just one second, guys. I'm actually tilted. I do not understand why this is, this was just working. Everything was fine. <clears throat> okay. Let me see if we can do some quick. Delete that. Can you guys still hear me? If this really if this really goes south for more than a minute, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I will just restart the stream and try to start try to do it over if I can't get this sorted I have no idea <laughs> I have no idea why it's treating me like this just running fine like we were just doing everything fine try rebooting it one more time maybe that does it been playing for a week boots up stream yeah i don't i, I i'm seriously like i can't with this that's not right. Um, okay, maybe. You know what I can do? We got it. Okay, hold up. We got it. We got. It. I got. I got it. I got it. 
All right, this is perfect. This will work. Boom, like this. I should have nothing to worry about. Okay. Is that, is that good chat? I just want this to work. I don't know what the problem is. Okay, so let me change then this. And then I'm gonna enter. <laughs> what time is it? How long have we been doing this? Hello everyone, welcome to the very beginning of this stream. Thank you for tuning in to catch the first five seconds where we just started up the stream. Uh, what we are doing today is we are playing a game known as Once Human. This is a upcoming MMO looter shooter. I don't know if you've heard that because I just started the stream and it's the first time saying those words. This is an upcoming MMO looter shooter that we've played before, we've covered in some videos before, we've talked about a few videos. We talked about a video we just did the other day. It went up, I don't know what day it is anymore. It went up some day prior to this day. And thanks for coming to the very start of the stream. We are now one minute in. Uh, okay, so, uh, MMO looter shooter mixed with survival games and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna show you the game now, instead of whatever the hell's been going on up until this point. So, here you got the open world. Uh, there's already some things that I've done. So there's a base nearby. We've got, uh, places in the vicinity that you can go to and you clear them. They're camps. They're, I think, like a Far Cry camp or a Ubisoft camp. It's not exactly that, but the, I the idea is the same. You go to these different points of interest, you fight enemies there, and you do objectives, and there's, like, a task list of things, and sometimes it can be, like, an interesting puzzle or some, like, spooky monster or something. It can be, like, a, a variety of things. But so, yeah, so we're gonna check out some of those, but I'm just kind of showing you the map. This is what we're doing right now. So you got the different points of interest called settlements. There are these things uh, called rift anchors. They're tied to these rift bosses. Uh, Monoliths actually is the name of those. And then there's some PvP things because we're playing on a PvP server because my friend hates me. And he wants me to play with all the super sweats so I can get rocked. It's so fun. I love it. Um... <sighs> And there's towns with NPCs, and there's quests, and there's all sorts of things, but show, don't tell. Let's do some of that. So here's the survival stuff. I think we're going to check this out later because I don't really much care to check it out right away. I do want to see about, though, I actually do have to do some crafting. So I'm going to make some SMG ammo. I got some copper. I got some gunpowder. We're going to go like this, and boom, we're going to turn it into... SMG ammo. I'm using the SMG, so we're gonna do the SMG ammo. I could do some stuff here like boil water. I already have some water though So I don't know that we need to do that and actually one thing I do want to do Real quick is make sure that I am I got this up just in case need be Okay, let's switch it back there. Perfect Okay Um. What am I looking for? Hello? I have all those things. I wanted to see if I had anything in my consumables tab. He's joking about the PvP, by the way. It's uh, avoidable if you want to. Yeah, it, uh, you're, you, he's correct, yes. Uh, spoiled food. That stuff's gone bad. I've got some water here. I don't remember what I was looking for. I lost track. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do some of I'm gonna do some of this stuff real quick. Just let me take some of that out. Um, I was told I always need to be making charcoal, so let's make some charcoal there. Let's make some more charcoal there. Hey, you know what? Let's make some more charcoal. And then after that, we'll make some charcoal. And can we make any more charcoal? Sure, absolutely. So that's gonna go for about a year. And we've got some charcoal right there, so we're gonna pull that out. Oh, you know what I was trying to do? I was gonna see if I should empty my bags, actually. That was what I was looking to do. Uh, I think I'm actually good. 
Uh, I can just put those in. Do I have anything to salvage? I'll explain all this stuff to you uh, after we're done exploring and coming back. I just wanted to quickly touch up here while we were doing this. Uh, how's this going? That's almost done. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to check if I can repair. I had this. Yes, I repair my machete. Is that, I can't repair this fish because you can't repair a fish. That doesn't make any sense. But I can repair the machete, so we're gonna do that. And I have the SMG that I'm using. I'm gonna repair that. Can you do anything with spoiled food? I believe at this point you just toss it. Uh, I know you can prevent food from being spoiled. There's there's like there's like food that is well preserved, and there are things like refrigerators and stuff where you can stop that from happening. But um, right now, me, I'm just dealing with the spo I'm just living the spoiled food life. It's not a big deal though, because it's the super easy like. Not a problem to acquire food. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go into my gear. I'm gonna swap out the fish because it's broken and we're gonna put on the machete. And I have the SMG ammo. Maybe I can see if I can make my boots or test mask yet. Actually, I will. I think I will do that because it'd be nice to get that upgrade. Let me get my SMG ammo, 2,000 of them. Is that correct? Yo, that's not, that is too much. Uh, we're gonna split that, because I do not want to carry around 2,000. Oh wait, I had a boatload of other ammo in my bag too. Just the wrong kinds. I'll take 1,000 with me. Uh, yeah, I'll take 1,000 with me. And then we'll we'll just hold on to everything else. Uh, let's craft some armor. Okay, so we get a bunch of materials doing stuff. We can break things down. There's like uh, junk materials, basically. You take the junk materials and put them in the disassembly, disassemble bench, and then that breaks down into core materials. There's a bunch of like refining and processing stations that we'll eventually get to. I want to check about the gear. I need the mask and the boots, I believe. So let me check if I can make the boots. All right, so... Boots come in different tiers. There's a whole blueprint system, uh, which we probably won't get into too much in this stream, but like basically you find blueprint parts and then you can take those, it's like blueprint fragments and you take those fragments and you merge them into a blueprint and then that blueprint lets you make all sorts of separate stuff. Right now I only have these like two items. I've got this rustic hat and this raid mask. Something that I do, uh, there's like a lot of elements in this game where like, where we have the reference like that the MMO aspects like right when you call this mmo it's like what are you talking about for me i'm talking about like obviously yes the other players but then i'm really al almost just referring to like the rpg loot elements as well and this game has a lot of stuff like that so like we have gear sets that do different things right so that well, we've got this raid this raid set okay so with the raid set, as you have more pieces, you get these bonuses. So, so you can see, it actually shows you, I like that it does this. It shows you what you currently have equipped in that set while you're looking at it. So see that I'm looking at the blueprint for the raid shoes. So it shows me that I already have a, hel a raid helmet, chest, and gloves. So I could do the, the pants, boots, and helm. You only need four though, I believe. I think there's probably sets with different set bonuses, but it looks like this one only goes up to four. So when, once I get a fourth piece, if it be at the boots or whatever, um, I unlock this final tier, which is when the load is over 80. They're referring to equipment load. But, but yes, when the load is over 80, damage taken minus 10%, weapon and tactical item damage plus 15%. So I want to get, I want to get it so that the load is over 80 <laughs> and then I get that nice little bonus. I actually don't go out of my way to make that happen, but I guess you could if you just like carried enough ammunition so that the load was always over 80. So we'll, we'll take some of these things. I got hide. I get them from uh, attacking deer. I'm going to take that. And then you ha it has you like, it's just kind of weird. It has you like click the parts of the thing you're building. And there's different tiers too. The higher tiers cost di uh, better resources, but it's like better stats, right? So like, okay, tier one is 96 HP, nine pollution resist, and PSI intensity six. And then that goes up from 96, nine to six. It goes to 160, 12, 10. The tier jumps are actually pretty massive, especially when it comes to crafted weapons. Like when you move from like a tier one crafted weapon to a tier two and tier three, they're like they're like doubling in, in damage values. So it's kind of crazy, but... I'm just fine, whatever, tier one. We're gonna do a tier one boots. So I'm gonna make this part here, take some of the materials, boom, put that there, and then we hold it down and we use some energy. 
We all love energy systems. Uh, they, they've been really, like, aggressively handing out energy this beta. I remember it feeling a little more restrictive early on in the last beta. I don't know how I got 17,000 all of a sudden, but I have 17,000, and I don't remember being... Sw I remember being, like, constantly fluctuating closer to zero. I don't know if this carried over from last beta, or... I mean, whatever. Like, this is a sponsor stream. Maybe they gave my account a bunch, although I don't remember activating anything. So I don't think that happened, but I believe the energy is, is, is better now, but then also it's a beta, so who knows? Things might fluctuate, probably will fluctuate between now and release, so we'll see what happens. So I got the boots, we put on the boots, boom, I got my four-piece bonus now. So now, whenever the load is over 80, damage taken minus 10. Let's see what the load is right now. The load is not over 80. It's a real bummer. <clears throat> Alright, let's go do some stuff. So we'll go clear some camps and things. Um, and yeah, we'll clear some camps and things. I got some side quests, but I'd actually like to just start off clearing some camps. Because it's, it's honestly my favorite thing to do. Uh, that's level 21. What level am I? I'm level 16 right now. I think there... I swear there was one I hadn't cleared yet. Is there not? I guess I could just progress to the next quest area and clear from there. I've got that, I've got that. This one's a bit high over my level. This one's a bit higher over my level. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna head into town, I'm gonna collect my dailies, and then we're going to, uh... And then I'm actually just gonna head to the next area. I've got, like, a main quest, a bunch of side quests and stuff. Is this a looter shooter or, like, an extraction shooter? It is absolutely not an extraction shooter. It is an open-world looter shooter. This whole map, you could just... I mean, it's, it's, it's broken off into seasons right now. Which basically they're like doling out the content over time, but it's an open map. You go from one point to another. It's not like drop in and, and leave. No, it's an open world game. Um, so the game, the reference points that I keep making for this game, and it's not like I still, it continues to feel more accurate the more that I play, is it feels like a combination of like The Division, Defiance, and Secret World. Like that is the. That is like the amalgamation that I that I get from playing this game. The secret world is really the only the reference points for the secret world is like the otherworldly funny creatures that they've got in the game, as well as use weapon to defeat use weapon defeat to defeat 30 enemy. Use activator five times. Defeat 50 enemy in total. Drive vehicle for 5,000 meters. I got a week to do these, by the way. I just select five. This one's easiest, but I'm just gonna... Maybe I'll do that eventually. If, I, if I'm, like, stuck on one of these. I just have to go around liking five messages. They've got, like, a Dark Souls-style message system. So, like, these are player messages, right? Just like in Souls. So people just, like, drop these on the ground. Let's see what this one says. Let's see what Snake had to say. Snake said... Hello. Have a nice day. Thank you, Snake. And he, oh, he shared a photo with me. Thank you, Snake. That's a very nice photo of a girl in a nightgown. Uh, all right. So I picked up my dailies. Let's go and do some quests and clear some tunnels, shall we? So I've got a quest over here to head to Myers Market, level 15. That seems appropriate for where I'm at. I got some side quests that maybe we'll do after. But it, yeah, it looks like I actually did clear all of the uh, camps. I must have just been zoned out doing this. Did I do this one? The UI is a little buggy, but it looks like I did. All right, so let's head down to Myers Market, and uh, we'll probably clear some stuff along the way because I'm guessing we will come by one. We got a motorcycle. The game's got a few different transportation options. Last beta, they had you start off just building the motorcycle, and so it like made sense, right? Because they had you build the bay, and then they like the motorcycle. You actually have to construct it. This time, they just like gave you a motorcycle, which I feel like is going to be a bit jarring for people. Who, who, because eventually you'll lose this, like, it'll probably explode at some point. It takes damage over time, right? And so you could lose it at some point. And I feel like that might be jarring for people who didn't initially build it in the first place. <clears throat> so here's somebody's base. This is one of those things about this game that is kind of interesting. Uh, with the exception of the points of interest, like the stronghold locations, which we're, we're going to go to one here in a second. With the exception of the strongholds and the roads, player bases can be built anywhere. So this is somebody else's base. This is somebody else's base that they put up, and they've just got a radio. Uh, I don't want to get copy struck from whatever music that's playing. Uh, and they've got these deviations, which are kind of like, uh, they're kind of like pals or Pokemon. 
like you capture deviations and you have to and like they've got like a tamagotchi system where you have to like make sure they're happy it's like different deviations will have different requirements uh this is a minecraft guy not minecraft tm he goes around gathering res where'd he go there he is he's like uh he goes around and he like gathers resources have you seen have you seen this man so anyways, yeah, but player bases can be built anywhere. This person just has a plat flat platform, but people will have like ornate bases. In fact, there's one right there. Let's just go check it. So yeah, here's another base that someone has just chilling on the side of the road. Like that's player built. But it's funny because it's like, there's the survival stuff with all these player built constructions, right? And then there's just the full-on, like, points of interest like you would get in, like, any open-world game. And let's go check this one out right here. This is a facility. I was told they changed this. It had an objective where you had to, like, go around and uh, put circuit boards in to power up something. I don't know if I can go up from this side, but we'll try anyways. This is, like, the day before, too. You know what? You, see, you can say what you will about... One's human, but it's an actual video game that has stuff to do in it. Whereas the day before, I don't know what you would... Wasn't. Uh, I mean... Uh, I should actually set up a camp real quick, but... I want to... We've been kind of running here for a minute and not done... Not done any combat, really, so... I'd like to, uh... Show you some of this. This is, like, my... Probably one of my, one of my favorite parts of the game. Like, I think the survival stuff is... I'm fine with it. But I like just going around doing stuff, like going around clearing camps, solving puzzles. They, they, they have like a whole bunch of different things. And there's a lot of locations will have like this one in the last beta. Again, I've heard it's changed, so it might not exactly be the same. But in the last beta, there was like a secret locked room. You, and uh, or no, I'm sorry, there's an elevator. And to power up the elevator, you had to go around and put circuit boards on like four different... Um, spots there were like circuit board locations and you had to like power them up basically and then you could take the elevator to the top and there was like a secret boss up there um and a, a bunch of the they're called strongholds but yeah a bunch of these points of interest when you go up to them they'll have like that list that you see on the upper left there but then they'll also have like secret stuff going on in there there's like extra extra things to discover and that like that shit's just cool like i like i like the, it's more than just you know, like, for Far Cry camps, right? It's just you do the camp. Like, you go in, you kill the enemies, and you open a couple of chests. But they have, like, secret puzzles and, like, hidden areas. And sometimes it's, like, you got to play, like, memory games. Or you got to do a jumping puzzle. Or, like I said, you got to power up. You got to find the source to power up uh, stuff. Or you got to find a key. Or or there's, like, a riddle to be... They do, like, riddles and stuff. And that's actually part of it. That, that's part of what this game... Uh, the Secret World... Rem what reminds me of Secret World in this game is they have, like, a whole bunch of, like... Sometimes you'll... There's a... There's a... There's a hospital, right? And you, like, find this guy who's wounded, and then you try to go find his friend or something, and it turns out they're dead, and then you touch a note, and it, like, teleports you to another dimension where you've got, like, rooms where you keep going from one room to another, but it's the same room. But depending on the direction, there's four directions, and depending on the direction that you go in, it changes the date of the calendar, the day, and the month. And basically, you, ha you have to, like, interact with the phone, and then the phone tells you uh, what day checkout is, because it's a hospital. So the phone tells you what day the checkout is. It's, like, September 14th or something. And then after listening to the phone message, you go in the ever-repeating rooms to change the day and the month so that it's the right day for leaving the hospital and then you can finally leave the like never-ending series so the game's got shit like that like it's just like wouldn't it did, like first time when we, we played the beta back in december i was like oh whatever like who, you know what who knows but like i that kind of shit it's like cool surprises right um just something a little different i guess is, is what it is something a little different that that that's one of the things that besides like doing the strongholds those kind of things are, are one of the things that I've liked about this game. Not that it's without its faults, right? 
and they, they, we, those will be thoroughly discussed over time, no question, but... And there's still some questions about how they're gonna gate or not some of the resources, some of the many, many, many resources that they have in the game. But even with that said, there, there has been a lot that I enjoyed about the last beta, and, you know, I've continued to play this beta. So it was pretty, it was pretty much a no-brainer for me where they're like, hey, we'd like to sponsor a stream. I said, I'm playing your game anyways. Why not, bro? But yeah, there will definitely be many points of discussion that we'll have about things in this game. Like with any game, right? Like with any game. All right, so let's clear the camp. We're going to, we completed the defeat normal enemies while I was blabbing about. Uh, we've got to do the rift anchor which is pretty simple. We got to find weapon and gear crates and we got to de um, defeat an elite enemy, which I think there's one in this hut. There was last time, let's take a look. This little snap is essentially Batman vision, lets you see through walls. It doesn't target enemies, but it does target collectibles. And that is some sort of a container. It could be a, when it glows like that purpley color, it could be a chest, like a gear chest or something, or it could be a storage container, or it could be meds. Let me get my, uh... That noise is a lamp head. So these guys right here, they're like an alarm. And when he makes that noise, he's basically just alerting people around him. He turns red because normally the lamp is white. But like, here's something else that's kind of neat, right? You can grab his lamp and then use it on enemies. Sometimes, when, sometimes playing this game, I feel like they just like took a whole bunch of different ideas from a bunch of different other games and just kind of tossed them together in a stew and said, all right, here's our game. We <laughs> it, like, there's just so much, there's so much stuff that, like, especially th this, this, this last beta patch, they just added, they had the deviants before, but they were kind of just something that's set in your backpack and they tied into uh, some like specialty progression. You could unlock like special perks and stuff. But then they just like, this last patch, they just like straight up made it like Pokemon where you you actually like capture and a ring closes up on them. And then when your capture come, like it's so funny. <clears throat> All right, I don't think this is not an elite enemy, but still want to kill everything anyways. You don't have a deviant in your cradle at the moment? Forget to set one. Uh, I think they locked it further behind progression or something. What did it say last time I looked? I know you're right. Uh, talk to Maxi at Myers Market. Oh, you know what? Myers Market is the town I'm about to go to, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just haven't unlocked it this beta. Um, I haven't, I didn't play as hard the first week. Uh, last, last beta, I basically put like all my time in the first two weeks. This beta, I've had some other stuff going on up until now. I probably am going to play more next week, uh, because I want to catch up. They're releasing all the content in seasons, so they're basically staggering, like, what players have access to. So Liam's been trying to go super hard and they're gating him and he's <laughs> kind of annoyed about it because, yeah, people who are like trying to play every single day, um, they're, they've, they've kind of gated it, gated progress a little bit in that way. But for me, it's fine. I'm, I'm like, I think I'm close to coming to the end of the first, uh, what do they call it? They don't actually call this part. The whole thing is a season, but I forget what they call, uh, I don't know what they call this part of it, but they're releasing it in tiers is the point. Phases. That's a good word for it. They're releasing the content in phases. The journey that that might be the, that might be what it's called, I don't know. But whatever it's called, they're, they're that's how they're doing it. They're kind of. Uh, I wanted to see if I could find the menu. Whatever. Have you killed any players yet? No. So PVP is um, relegated to very specific areas. Let me see if I can find one on the map right now, just to show you, because sometimes they'll be yeah. So right here, see this red thing? PVP happens there. So you'll go up to it and there'll be like a shimmering field all around the area. It kind of looks a little bit like the field that's pulsating out here in one second. 
Uh, one second. There, see, see, so that like pur that's like a purpley reddish uh, hue, and it's all around. It's like a massive barrier around the area. When you walk into that, you're PVP flagged, and you you do PVP stuff in there. I don't know. I probably wouldn't. I I probably be on the PV server if it wasn't for my mates, but it's all good. I like PVP. It's just I only like PVP if I'm gonna be sweaty right from the jump. If I'm even taking it a little bit slow, which I have been taking this round of testing, um, it just feels like, you know, I don't want to be the guy showing up at level 15 when everyone's level 30. You know what I mean? Like that's not what I'm looking. To, that's not that. That's not the experience I'm looking to have. <clears throat> I didn't know you played any of the games you review. My guy, my guy, every single one of my reviews is like, dude, I played a thousand hours. Here's what I thought. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, if I'm previewing a game before it's come out, then yes, usually I have not played it, but... Because usually it's not possible at that point. Like, if I'm talking about a game when it's like 30 years from release, no, I've not played that. That's accurate. But when I actually review games, yes, dude, I play, like... <laughs> PvP zones better have the best materials. That's a good best have better have the best materials. That's actually a good question. I know that there's a good reason to go there. I, I just don't recall exactly what it is. I like using the um this thing, it's actually pretty good headshot damage. This crossbow. But a little low DPS because of the slow, slow fire rate. I think I could get up here. Yeah, I can. Last time I got up here just kind of doing this. There's a chest over there. Something over there. Oh, Shiza. Second chat. Wait, this guy too? There we go. So this is what I'm talking about. So there's like a little activate fuse boxes in building two to gain access. And this unlocks uh, an entry to a, like a special room. It actually might be this room right here. With this guy, is it this one? Or is this one open? No, this one's open. Well, it opens some room. I don't know if I have any circuit boards on me. Building two power has been restored. Okay. So can I use that now then? Thought it said something about two fuse boxes. Let me see if let me see if I can figure this out. Grab this chest first though. most enemies are closer to bullet sponges or go down fairly simple as you play through um i mean they're pretty straightforward especially early on okay i scheduled the furnace and now that's moving i actually don't know what this does this isn't the place i, I was thinking about the elevator so i'm actually not sure what this is for oh it's probably shh, no Ugh, it's probably to get across I don't know if I need it to get across though. I think I can jump from here. I did last time. I don't think I was supposed to be able to, but I I, I, I was able to like kind of glitch jump onto that ledge. One sec, I'll try it. This is the same place they changed the way it works. Okay. Does the elevator work, uh, Liam? Do you remember? What is that thing? Oh, that's the, that's the uh, alarm bot head thing. Okay. That's why that combat music was going off. 
Bunch of random materials we pick up pretty much all over the place. Um, that leads up, and I actually wonder if I could just jump across instead of dealing with the whole elevator thing. Yeah, the elevator's still there, but you need... Okay. And I know this actually leads underneath. So I think I'm gonna actually go check this out real quick. Oops. All of these little kind of random materials that we're picking up <clears throat> outside of the chest, these are all for... Basically, they turned into scrap. Yeah, yeah, I can go down here. Oh, no, wait, this leads out, doesn't it? <clears throat> I think that leads out, actually. It goes down and then out. It's like another entrance into this whole area. <clears throat> Liam said I can jump across. I kind of want to try it now. <clears throat> um, It's going to be a bit... I think if I can get like this, the game kind of lets you like fuss around. Like, like look, 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 you see? It kind of lets you do that a little. So this should let me go all the way up now instead of taking the elevator that I took last time. Well, you guys weren't here for that, but last beta. And this will give me access to the specialty chest up top. There's like a little kind of, it's not really a mini boss, but it's, uh, maybe you'd call it like an elite or something. I don't know if it's technically an elite, but. I do believe there is damage fall off. Oh shoot, that is different. It was, what the heck is that thing? Oh, shh, quiet. What the heck? That is not what was there last time. <clears throat> wait, wait, can I knock it up from here? Maybe this is, maybe this is where I'm stuck. Oh no, it keeps going. Yeah, it keeps going. got like a jet engine head or maybe it's like a furnace it's like a furnace I think it's supposed to be a furnace this guy's sneaking up on me he's gonna level 50 that is definitely Liam and uh, he can absolutely probably just one-shot these guys because he's level 50. Like I told you, he's been sweating. Switch to the SMG here. This is way cooler. The last time they had some, it's like a, just, it's like a lady, flying lady that has an umbrella for a head. Dude, what is this? Spring legs? Let's see. How long does it last? Oh, like one second? <laughs> AKM Pioneer. All right, uh, that counts as an elite. Now I just gotta activate the rift anchor, which looks like it's over here. Oh, two hours? Okay, nice. All right, got the crates. There's actually a lot more. And that's the thing that I noticed last time too. It's that there will be way more in any one of these areas than what the requirement is for like clearing it. So once I finish that checklist of the, the purple quest in the upper left, uh, I will clear it and then I get some bonuses. Um, and I can just check what those are. 
Once you clear it, yeah, those are the rewards that I get right there. That that those list of items. Once I complete all the objectives, and that's basically like that's just what I've been like. That's what I've liked doing in this game is just going to each one because they're all different, right? Like every single one, it's a it's a different actual physical point of interest. Like it's a different location. It looks different. It's like different theming, different whatever. Like this is some, what is this, uh, industrial plant, right? Her Hearst Industries. Um, so it'll be a different physical location to clear, and then they'll have, like, a different combination of... I, like, usually it's, like, kill a couple enemies and and open chest, but then, like, the, the extra special bonus thing that it, whenever there is one will be different. Mate, he literally just one-shots everything. <laughs> yeah, so this game doesn't really do scaling. That is one thing to be aware of. So because Liam is level 50 and he's got, like, really good gear... Compared to th these levels, like, he just kills those things in a couple of bullets, whereas me, it takes almost a full clip or whatever, you know? Alright, so we finished that, and then this point is officially cleared. Now, again, I could still, like, go around, because there's, pr there's gonna be... I barely... Like, I barely... I went, like... I'm right here. I think I went in this side. I went in, like, these buildings and up here. But there's like all of this and all over here and over here. Like I haven't even looked in any of those buildings. So there's still like a lot more loot. There'll be like more chests and stuff to find. Um, but you don't. It's that's the thing. Like you can stay. You could keep click clearing enemies in XP. You can look for more chests. You can pick up more of the random loot that's on the ground or whatever. You see, I'm getting experience, so it's working towards like me leveling up and all that, which is good. But. Oh, this is an explosive barrel spider finger thing. When does this game release? Don't believe it has a set release date yet. Um, just that it's targeting 2024. This beta that's running right now, it's it's lasting for like over a month, so there's still plenty of time if you wanted to try it. And kind of like I said at the start of the stream, like if there's any time to try, it's in the beta, in my opinion, before any launch day things happen. So you know how launch day things can happen with these games. So. I like to play it before any of that stuff's implemented. People are different, though. People, like... I also understand the argument of just wanting to wait till it's finished. And then play it so that you don't burn yourself out playing it again. But hey. Steam says Q3. But I don't think it's going to be that soon. Hard to say. Is there a party system? Yeah, yeah, you can play with people. Uh, the only reason I'm not playing with my friends right now is because they're, they've all played, like, non-stop since it came out last week. And so they are just way ahead of me. And the game doesn't do scaling, like I just said a moment ago, and like you saw, so... He's just, like, significantly more powerful than I am. The only thing I don't know is if there's any sort of scaling relevance in, like, the instance content. Because they do have, um, they do have, like, dungeons and stuff. There's, like, different variations. There's things called silos, which are kind of what you'd think of as, like, traditional dungeons. And then they have monoliths, which are, like, big boss fights. <clears throat> Just make sure I want to check everything. Some instant stuff scales up enemies, but no scaling down to your level. Okay. I mean, and to be fair, it's it has seemed pretty easy to get to level cap. It's like I said, I've just I've I've, I've I was just kind of taking it slow here on this first week. I plan to play more in the future, but. I was just kind of taking my time. I spent a ton of time just, like, messing around with my base, trying different base layouts. And then the game lets you move your base. At one point, I accidentally moved my base underground. So then I had to deal with that. <laughs> then I, I had to deal with that. <clears throat> oh, damn, look. Yeah, he's got, like, abilities and stuff now, too. Which is not, I don't have any of that stuff yet. All right, we're gonna go and head to our quest objective now that we've cleared that out. Just hope I don't run out of fuel. I got fuel back at the base, so I should be fine. Because it doesn't really matter. You just summon the bike anyways.
chest in there. Alright. I don't think I need... I'm actually okay for food and drink. I was gonna say, uh... Harvest some meat here, but I actually don't think it's necessary. I got a couple of food items. And did I just find this? I don't really want to use, like, the purple stuff right away. Let's get rid of our spoiled meat. Uh, discard. Okay. I actually put stuff, by the way, that you throw down. So, like, you can throw down items and have other people take them up if you want. If you wanted to give something to somebody or whatever. Yeah, you do have to be invited. There there should be a link in the description uh, if you guys are looking to check it out yourself. That'll give you a spot to sign up for it. Now, hold it right there. You ever hear the mayflies? I'm here to solve problems, not cause them. Oh, yeah. You've got one of those weird backpacks. The <laughs> cradle, right? We had another one of you guys. This is something, huh, mate? Too long ago. He didn't exactly impress anyone. So, you're here to clean up his mess? <laughs> We've got a pretty urgent Stardust problem. But how do I know you'll actually help? Probably a good idea to save this spoiled food for a biomass generator. Going on. Oh, really? It's like going to the doctor. You gotta diagnose the illness before you can solve it. I don't think I knew about well, that. At least you're a better talker. Is that for, that's for. a power generator for your Hold base, I'm assuming? I'm, gonna I'm right here. Right, I'm just gonna, just, just gonna do this, guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not here. This is no different, this, no different from any other MMO. I ain't here for the story, so. Maxi right. Yeah, it is just another power source, okay. Strange. Got it. Tried everything. You can go ahead and. <laughs> no, this isn't that game, David. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finally, uh, cradle override system. So this is where I can take my deviants, put them in my backpack, and it gives me additional features. Let's just see what it, exactly it says. System is unlocked uh, access from the right, right. Cradle has override features that can dramatically improve combat abilities and need to be matched to nodes to take effect. Override features and nodes need to be gradually unlocked through exploration and combat. Each season has a different cradle, uh, which can be centered around the override features. Choose your equip and combat styles. Okay. So I don't know if I can do that quite this second. let us It's not telling me. Let me open up my cradle and see. Uh, okay, so drag node to over. So let's see what ones. Are. That's not the one I want to use. I use. I'll probably do the uh, crossbow damage boost or the machete. Let me read these. Upon killing using a crossbow, there's thirty percent chance to refill the arrow. I think that's. Is that the only one I have unlocked to start? Yeah, yeah. These ones require me. I have to kill. I have to clear silos. Silos are those dungeons, and then defeat these bosses. Treant boss. There's a silo. I think I cleared the Phi Silo last beta, the Phi Securement Silo. I think that's a pretty early one. Alpha Securement Silo. Uh, maybe it was the... I don't know. I've definitely cleared some Securement Silos, so those are like the dungeons. Uh, that haven't been terribly difficult, honestly. I can't believe... I wonder if, pro, I wonder if some of this progress carried over. I think it's strange that I have all of these unlocked already. All right, let's see. Uh, SMG damage boost. Upon a kill with SMG, refills mag by 2. 20% from inventory. And crit rate, 25% for the next 5 bullets. This is really good, though. 30% chance to refill. And then 50% weak spot damage. So that's headshot damage. Yeah, I use this the most, so I'm just going to throw that on, to be honest with you. I need to put the butterfly in the case at base. Okay. Well, I will do that then. I think I had the bouncy goo thing in the in the case. Which is a deviant that I didn't see last time. Do you have a quest for me? There we go. Hey. So, well, interesting. Better than Oh, you have Not to sink to it? Never okay. Run. I have another job. I was gonna say, because sure. I don't see Tell it. Me about the job. I've got a client. There's a place near you bring me and a sweetener. You're starting to fair enough. Alright, let me see. I will unlock the teleport for this base. Then I think I'm gonna run back to mine real quick. 
for the uh, Deviant, just so we get it. And there's a few more quests to pick up here as well. Is the teleport thing inside? There it is. Yeah, so a little teleportation pads. Activate these around the base. There, there, there'll be ones tied to these NPC bases. Like there's the Deadsville one. Here's Myers Market, and then there are ones like out in the wild. These little blue things here, teleportation towers, <clears throat> and they do exactly what they sound like. Just tell you, spend a little energy and you teleport to them. All right, let me just grab these quests real quick, and then I'm gonna head back to base, do my deviation. I think this is gonna have me talk to a few NPCs, but. Is there anything up there? I don't know if I checked that last time. Space whales flying over? I don't see it yet. Yeah, I don't know that I checked up here last time. A lot of times there will be like chest hidden all over the place or at least some sort of like container or something. Looks like not, not this, this time, but. We've got nowhere. I'm not inclined. You have my word. Is that big? Six months? Yeah. I figured there's got to be. I'll check it out then. Yeah. What is it? Sometimes jump. Why do I feel there was a woman? She didn't look like a the first infect pregnant. Hey. Who the hell no? We didn't have many in the end. Wait a minute. They're full of broken. Yeah. He really left some residents anyway. All right, talk to the residents. Let me pick up the side quest. There's something down here. Oh, here's a uh, like a deviation container. So yeah, these are the things you pick up like all sorts of different things. It's like a butterfly. I have a bouncing goo thing. There's inanimate objects like that suitcase. Kind of actually reminds me of control a little bit in that way. And then you put them in those containers you keep them happy and then you can throw them in your backpack and get like bonuses from that there's even like combat bonuses for them now as well which i don't think they had in the last beta but yeah now basically you can like there's one that you can like throw as like an exploding projectile or something <clears throat> all right Pick up these. Oh, just notes. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, so let me go back to base. I will repair my stuff. I think I will refill my, oh, there's another quest. Sync up my deviation and refill. Hey, Claire. Well, that's great. Better than. D yeah, I've been doing all that. What's that? No, no. On a place made an account sure? a week ago, but no key. Was there only so many? They've been slowly doling out invites. Um. Like throughout the course of the beta, I think it's how they're doing it. So. I would definitely keep trying if you're looking to play because I don't, it, there will be more going out over the coming weeks and everything. All right, let me go back to base. I need to repair my crossbow. I also check my ammo. And, oh, my Deviant. So I think I should be able to... This one I can synchronize. Maybe I'll just put up another one instead of getting rid of that one. All right, let's see. Where was it? 
Storage, no. Functional, yes. Independent secure unit. And I should have more than that goo guy. Wait, no? Wait a second. Facility. There we go. Put the butterfly in. Pause it. Okay. And... Synchronize to cradle. Okay. So, there we go. So now we synchronize to my cradle. And that should mean... I believe that these are now in effect. That this is now in effect. This bonus that I get here. Crossbow damage boost. And then there's like others that I could do. Oh, these were from the deviation collection. I see. So since I have three deviations, that's why I've unlocked all three. So I could do any one of these as well. Dealing damage with melee attacks grants 5% damage reduction for 12 seconds. Stacks up to five times. That's not bad, but I think I like my headshot crit multiplier better. Okay. All right, so I will, let's see, break these down. So this is all like the junk that I collected while out there. So we break it down into actually usable materials. And let me see if I can cook anything. Oh, I can make one roasted meat. I guess I'll just do that. Nothing else. No. Just to have that food. I want to pull out some water. Uh, let's see. Pull out just a few. I'm gonna put that in. Oh, I wanted to, I want to power up my bicycle as well. So I will do that. CUI has been a little finicky. Like you can't, for whatever reason now, you can't hold down. Oh, you just have to hold it down for a second. Okay. If you try to do it, if you try to click and drag quickly, it pulls the, it pulls the menu down. But if you hold it for like half a second, it then pulls it out and then you can drag it down. Otherwise you can only drag quickly to the side, which is kind of weird, but anyways. And fuel my bike. Let's do that. I don't know if I can, yeah, I can fuel it on the go. So put that in. Use. Okay. I had some more, but I, yeah, like, let me actually just do it just to make sure it's all set. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's in consumables. There we go. Okay. Fill it up. Perfect. Put that back and then I will repair. I actually want to see if I can make a level two crossbow. Don't know if I have the mats yet, but would be good. It's way better. I think I can. Yeah, look at that. Tier 1 is 262 damage. Tier 2 is 403. Quite a big difference. And I have everything, so let's make it. Equip as primary. Perfect. Um, let me see. I got a few. So you, it, it, I don't think it used to be the case, but uh, it, I think in last beta, you could only ever out in the wild, just like find, uh, there was only melee weapons. But this in this beta, it looks like you're finding other gear. Like I'm finding other weapons that I've not crafted. The only problem with that is you can't repair found weapons, but it gives you the opportunity to get some like try different weapons that you've not spent the resources on crafting basically 
Um, oh, funny, and you know what? It looks like I can use my combat ability already, although it's grayed out, so maybe I have to... Maybe the Deviant isn't happy enough for me to use it or something yet. Actually, not entirely sure. But we'll go out and do some more stuff. Um, let me see. Do some more side quests and clear a few things. I actually don't know what this cargo shuffle thing is. It says it's at 36%. I kind of want to go check that out. It's not far away. Let me just ride to it. I don't remember seeing it. This looks, I mean, it, it appears very clearly to be a world event, but I don't remember seeing that before. Unless it's the spider bus, and I just didn't remember the name of it. Let me go see. The game has like a whole bunch of different world events that takes place. There's like a, a house that walks around. <laughs> There's a spider bus. There's like space whales and all sorts of other funny creatures that come from the sky and stuff. I want to see what this this one is though, because I don't I don't quite know. I'm sorry, what's happening? Is this... Is... Is this the public event? Oh, damn. Dude, these guys are pumped. Here, let me just get... <laughs> let's just get this fuck. Alright. We got... Those things. There's some stuff here. Oh, there's the... There's the bus. Do I shoot the bus? Are those guys shooting each other? I... I'm, I'll be honest with you, I have no clue. Wait, I entered the PvP zone? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get... That's what that is? <laughs> That's a PvP bus? Cargo shuffle. Okay, well, it looks like it just ended. <laughs> Thank God. Mate, I was very confused. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen that. That's funny. So, so, okay, so let me get this straight. A bus rolls up, blasts that music, and everyone just starts fighting each other. You say you don't lose anything, though? Okay, well, that's good to know. That was, that, that was, that was unexpected, though. I'd never seen that before. <clears throat> Alright, let me see. We got some side quests, we got some more places to clear. Some more strongholds. I actually have a side quest back in here. Search for the Mayfly artifact. I mean, I might as well just check it. Right? Since I'm right here. So this is the... How do I, uh... How do I throw it again? Oh, damn, dude. That's pretty dope. And can I just keep doing it? Or... Oh! Oh, oh, it's like auto attacking. All right, so here's the deviant that I put in my backpack. He's got like a bunch of a bill. He's, he's literally just lacing these dudes up. I don't even need to do anything. Turn off auto attack, okay. <laughs> okay. So he's got a few abilities. Recovering, securement progress. Fatal flaw, throwing deviations, and then auto attacks. I'll put on the throwing one, and I think with that, once it's charged up, I can toss it out or something, right? Wait, the damage bump in this is ridiculous. Even my non-crits are... Oh, this is another one of those, uh... This is another one of those lava head dudes. When's the game coming out? It's supposed to be later this year. There's no set release date as of yet. The beta that's running out right... The beta that's 
active right now. It's supposed to be lasting for over a month, so there should be plenty of opportunities to get in in that time. There's sign-up stuff below as well. The first link in the description below should be beta registration for you. The second link is for uh, link is for Steam. Can you play with friends only? No, no, it's pub. It's public. Like there's other people running around right next to me. I just walked by like six people. That thing just jumped out of his gut. I should actually make some more arrows real quick. Let me, uh, let me make some more arrows. Yeah, make some more arrows real quick since I'm running low. Here we go. You just need wood, some stone. I can pull stone from these iron nodes as well, though. Or tin, rather. And it looks like I just unlocked the, uh, the self-mining thing. Okay. So place a camp. Throw some arrows in. And I will actually try to get some more. Is there any more? Four around here? I don't see any. Eventually you get devices that like let you track ore. I don't really, I don't need it that much. It's fine. Oh, and I can, I've got some roasted meat to make as well. I'll just wait for that. Throw it in my bag. All right, all done. All that crafting stuff has like a timer, right? So six, drink some water. Yeah, these all at the bottom are the different meters essentially that you have to upkeep. So there's a strength meter, which really is never that big of a deal. It basically just limits it if you're spamming harvesting. It slowly ticks down, but it's actually, to be honest, it's one of like the least restrictive ones that I've seen in a game like this. It replenishes pretty quickly and it takes a while to run out. So, um, and then there's the sanity meter, which that applies once you start going to areas that basically have a lot of this otherworldly stuff going on you'll start taking damage, sanity damage essentially starts taking down. And all this stuff works in tiers where you get, once you're uh, higher above tiers for like the hydration and hunger, you get bonuses, uh, like run speed bonus. I think there's like an HP bonus, stuff like that. And then it slowly takes down to like flat level, which I mean, I guess you could consider the bonus versions what are actually the max and then everything else is a punishment if you're not at max, but. All right, I want to try this uh, projectile one. I think if I just tap it now. How do I do it? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Oh, and then now he's staying out. Can I stop the auto attack? Oh, I can return it to cradle. Okay, so I can toss it out and then it'll do auto attack. And then if I return it to cradle, That'll start the charging up process, I see. I actually don't know what I'm looking for. Well, I mean, it says follow the clues and find the artifact, but I don't... I will, uh... I don't know 
if it's gonna reveal itself as I get close. Oh, there's a chest in there. I think last beta there was a huge boss in this room, but it doesn't seem like that's the case anymore. Stuff up there, stuff up there. Going from this side. Does this remind you of Hellgate London? I mean, only just like, I, I see what you're saying because of like the funky creatures and stuff like that. I guess, but not really. Oh, this is the room that I was in earlier. I think maybe I'll go onto the roof. It's another one of those elites. I don't really need to fuss with them, though. Forced PvP is not good. Uh, the game has far more PvE servers than it has any PvP servers, so if you're just looking to do PvE in this game, that's definitely going to be an option. In fact, I think uh, playing with my friends who are playing on AEU, I think there was like five PvE servers and one PvP server. So, like, PvE is clearly going to be the focus for most of the player base. The numbers uh, attest to that, right? Of how many servers they're opening up for everybody. Check in this building. Upstairs? It's upstairs. Yeah, I don't know why the music is so... extraordinarily loud. Thanks for the heads up. It's a little weird. PvP servers aren't 100% PvP. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? Like, it's still, even when you're on the PvP servers, it's only in the PvP zones. So, yeah, if, if, if you're not into PvP, it seems you can clearly avoid it. Even on PvP servers if you wanted to. But, yeah, you could just go to a PvE server and it's just going to all be all about base building and PvE grinding and doing dungeons and monoliths and public events and, you know, just like all the open world stuff. That's what it's going to be. Which I, su I mean, look, it's, I, there's really no question. I was going to say I suspect it's going to be most of the player base, but I think it's pretty obvious by how they structured their servers, right? They've got so many more PvE servers than they do PvP servers. I think that's, like, pretty... I think that's, like, pretty much the case for most MMOs. Like, I'm sure there are outliers, right? Like, you got, like, Dark Age of Camelot or something, right? But I feel like in most MMOs, a vast majority of the player base is the pve portion of the wait was that not my objective oh that was one clue that wasn't the whole thing so there's more clues for me to find for it okay because yeah i went up there that had a separate marker up there i went up there and i clicked on it but that is something different right that 0.6 kilometer yeah oh return oh no wait i do have it it's telling me to go back to her all right I'll do it then. It's weird that it's still showing up on my mini-map. Highlighted there. Does the game have exotic loot? Unique we I mean, there's- there, there, Dude, there's plenty of loot for you to grind. This- if- 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 if anything, this game, like, there's a lot- There's a whole blueprint system for making, like, the rare- different rarities of gear. 
and f you'll find blueprint fragments and you upgrade them and then there's like mods that you can smash and upgrade and there's every uh, uh, when you're crafting a weapon there's five when you're craft crafting anything weapon or gear there's five tiers so like you'll start off making tier one weapons and then when you get better resources you can make that same weapon but a tier two version which is just more stats more damage more whatever yeah, this game absolutely has that uh, ladder climb, that vertical power climb, if that's something you're looking for. Alright, I'm gonna head back to uh, base. Take our bike back. There's a lot to do in this game and barely one fourth of the map is open during the beta. Yeah, and it's funny because this time around, it seems like they've restricted more from the jump. Like the way they're doling out the content is um, more limited compared to the last time around. Like they had more stuff right out front and now they're kind of releasing things in, in succession. Unlike, uh, unlike before, so. Wait, did I do this right? I don't know. Let me talk to this person. This is Claire, right? Yeah. Uh. Bring the finding to Claire. Still okay. Yeah. Exactly. I'll be honest. I didn't expect Dark Age of Camelot name drop in a once human stream. So yeah, but I mean, it's yeah. the po the reason I reference that is because that's one of those clear, kind of, uh, that again that outlier example of yes, that was an MMO where. People were focused on PvP, like that was the thing. But I feel like in most MMOs, it always seems like it's a fraction of the player base. And I wish I remembered where, but I swear I've heard from, I, 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 swear, I think it was talking to a developer and I wanna say it was WoW, but I swear I remember hearing somewhere that like the actual numbers, like the percentage of people out of everybody who plays the game that's focused on PvE is l it was like less than 10%. I think it was even less than 5%. It was like very small. Uh very very small out of the the total number of players. All right, let's go clear some more of these uh places here. There's harbor side over there. And there's the high banks. These are both pretty cool locations. I'll go to harbor side though. Uh, can I not track this? Stop tracking. Okay, let's go to let's go to harbor side. It it's gonna like why would I? Go, <laughs> what what are you telling me, dude? There's no way this is optimal. I'm gonna try just going straight south here. Uh, there it is. Maybe I'll be at an impasse, but there's no way I'm going. I'm trying to go all the way around to start. So let's go this way. Microtransactions pay walls. So as of now, the developer has said, there will be no pay to win. Can that change? Of course, anything can change. There will definitely be microtransactions, so there's no question about that. It's what and how that uh, comes into play. I can tell you there are a lot of resources and different gating, time gating mechanics in this game. So there are things like you can only do this X amount of times per day or X amount of times per week. And these will be things, different things tied into your progression, your ability to unlock new things or whatever. You know what I mean? So where the line ends up falling in like the presence of those things, your natural ability to get them in game and then your ability to get them in a shop. Don't know. Can't tell you yet. That'll that that's something that will be answered at release, but 
They're saying no pay to win. They're saying no. They're they're saying that. But you know, who knows? We'll see. We'll see when it launches, right? That's uh, that's kind of it's <laughs> kind of how it goes, right? The the thing that I've said about this though in the la like the the la when I played it in December beta and I played it now, like I've at least like I just like going around doing this camp clearing thing, getting some gear, doing that stuff. And I think like for me, as long as I'm not too pressed about like I got like trying to be if I'm not playing twelve hours a day for a week straight and I'm trying to like you know what I mean? If that's not my mentality, then I'm fine with just like playing a game, getting what enjoyment I can out of it. And then if I run into some barriers there where it's like, hey, I want you to come back eight weeks in a row. Every week we'll give you one of this item. And then after eight weeks, you can, uh, you can unlock those new blueprints you want or whatever, you know. We're th throwing hypotheticals, but you can map them how you please onto this current discussion, right? When a game asks me to do that, or it says, or if you pay five dollars, you can just get the thing now. I, 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 any game that has this stuff, which it seems like, especially in the, in the MMO genre, it's like a vast majority of them nowadays. Any game that has that stuff, I just go, I, I, I enjoy it until I hit that point, and then when that point arises, I say, see you later. Unless, so if it's a free-to-play game, I'll put some, I'm happy to put some money in, right? If I'm, if I'm playing a free-to-play game, it costs me no money, and I'm playing it for a week, and I'm having fun, I will spend $60, right? All right? I'll, because, because, because I'm paying for the entertainment. But there's a threshold where I'm like, no, I'm sorry, I'm done. Like, no more. Like, and it just, re it really depends. And that varies from game to game. It varies from, like, how am I playing the game? What am I trying to get out of it what am i looking for but it, i think especially if that wall ever runs up to me feeling at a, a disadvantage then i'm then i check out sooner than later you know what i'm saying that's how it always is for me like if and that's part of the reason frankly why like with a lot of these games where i have where we're dealing with that crap again especially in this in the mmo genre it just seems like it's just like what the heck it's like most of them now that are coming out if, 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 uh, that's why in the, uh, that's why in those circumstances, I just, I try, if at all, to not involve myself in any of the competitive stuff, because, yeah, that's the, that's the sh most surefire way to feel the pressure of being behind from not swiping. But again, as far as where this game is gonna land, we, we just don't know, we won't know until it releases. All I, all I can say is that the developer has said there will be no pay to win. And we'll see, at, we'll see at launch. That, that's, that's like, that's, that's all we can, that's really all we can say at this point, right? We'll, we'll see what ends up happening. I, I, and I think it could just very, it probably will just be one of those things where we're then butting up against, what are people's definition of that term? So when you say pay to win, what do you mean? <laughs> Cause I remember I remember Diablo Immortal and not being able to buy gear. And then it came out and people were like, hey, you can buy this stuff that you put on your character that makes you stronger. And then the rebuttal was, that's not gear. And we're just like, my guy. Are you shitting me? Are you... Okay, fine. Whatever you say. <clears throat> so those kind of situations... You know. <laughs> I hear something stomping around. Does anyone else hear that? Is it you? Oh, an alligator? Oh my god. Eclipse Crocodile. If I can play- 
if I can pur if I can purchase something that saves me even one second, it's pay to win. Yeah. So what I would be most impressed by though is if your ability to purchase took under a second. Like that's some at that point, man. It's almost impressive. Like you'd have to give your hats off to them if they could get you to make a bank transaction in under a second. All right, so we are, there's a ticking noise. Wait, wait, what's over here? I want you to hear it. Here it is. Is it stopping? Oh my God, that gator is fast as heck. I thought it was in one of those sanity zones, but it's not popping up. Uh, but basically when you, when you are in, a, in an area where you are losing sanity, that depletes your sanity meter in the middle there, the one with the little head icon, um, you hear a little ticking occurring when it's happening. And I thought I was hearing it, but my sanity meter isn't budging. That could be because of a food buff that I have. I'm just not sure. I think it might be because of a buff that I have right now though. I think I can check, but I'm not going to bother fiddling through the menus because I actually don't know where it is. I'm guessing it's somewhere. So, oh, that no, that's just my spring legs buff. I don't know why I wouldn't be losing sanity um, if I were, in fact, in a sanity zone, but... C'est la vie. Let's keep on rolling. All right, so I want to clear this town. So as uh, as we did the last time... I already got this rift anchor. Um, we need to do the rest of the checklist. Looking for mystical crates. That's a translation error. Defeat elite enemies, normal enemies, and find gear crates. So we're going to run around looking for crates. Um, I actually think I remember from the last beta where one is. There was like an underground one somewhere on the edge of town. And I think there's one in a boat. Oh, shit. Let me grab his helmet. Is he not dropping it? I thought they... I swear that they always drop it. That's a shame. I think it's bugged, or the dev simply removed the sanity mechanic because I was playing today and noticed the same thing. No sanity decrease. I I'm sh assuming you meant decrease. Uh, so, that's the thing, though. I, I Last week, I had sanity dropping. Unless, like, I remember having to eat the sanity gummies to replenish my san sanity meter. So, it's not completely out of the game unless we just moved from, like, the week one of the season into week two of the season. And maybe in that process... Oh, there's a jumping puzzle there. Let me go show you guys that. This is new from this beta, too. Um, unless, unless they changed it from week one to week two. Okay. I'm gonna go do the jumping puzzle real quick. Sanity edibles, yeah, exactly. There's a, there's like a whole bunch of different consumables that are for for uh, replenishing sanity when you lose it. I am gonna die. Eat, 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 eat. Four, four, four. Why four? Four. I'm hitting. F Hello, bro. What is happening? Am I dead, but it's just not... I think I'm dead, but it's just not registering. I think I'm... I, I'm pretty sure I'm bugged. I think I... I think I'm supposed to be in the god... The god. The down but not out state right now. But, uh, I'm bugged. Let me see if I can chop down the tree. You 
You think I have to relog? Maybe the water no longer decreases sanity. Um, I don't want to teleport back home. I can't teleport because I'm bugged. In current state. Yeah, I think I'm down but not out. All right, let me change this real quick, chat. Uh, get unstuck? Ooh, that might actually work. Oh, it just reloaded my gun. <laughs> oh wait, yes, I'm getting unstuck. We'll see what happens. That was weird. Oh, here I am. Now I, okay, good, perfect. That is really I actually cannot tell you what just happened. I, 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 was I just low health but stuck? Is that what, is that the conclusion? I think it might be what happened. I think I was just low health but stuck. Oh, sh it's out. No, 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 it's beta. This is a uh, closed beta. Okay, jumping puzzle, ready? They've been pretty simple. That was pretty simple. Awesome. Perfect for someone of my IQ. Uh, all right. I want to... I have actually no clue where these chests are. I think I'm going to go check the boat. I know there's a big boat in there. You know what I want to do? I'm going to set up a camp so that if I di almost die again, I will at least respawn. Did you even jump? In spirit, I did. Yes. These gators don't screw around, by the way. Lesson learned. I didn't, uh, I didn't skin the last ones, though, and I should have. This is a boat, but it's actually not the boat that I believe has the, um, stuff in it. I can still check it, though. Maybe it does have something. Let's take a look. Throw up a camp. Uh, make some arrows while we're here. Ooh, we got a bunch of meat we can make. And blueberry juice? Uh, make some arrows because I think I was running low and while that crafts let me check this boat here I don't know this is a uh, this isn't the boat that I'm recalling but this boat might still have something so that's why I want to check it but I'm pretty sure the other boat at the far end of town has a lot of what I'm looking for doesn't look like there's anything in here you can usually just tell by doing what I'm doing, doing the little snap right outside. Although to be honest, the 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 coverage of the snap is pretty small. Like you really have to be within like, f wait, is this the boat with all the stuff in it? It looks the same, but maybe it's not because I swear it was at the other end of town. Yeah, I think it looks the same, but it's not the same boat. There's anything in here, guys. I really want to look. I might really want to check down here, though. Oh yeah, there's the sanity is finally going now. Oh mate, this breath meter is no bueno. Okay, let me head out of here. is a little buggy. It's not exactly. <laughs> Can I just get out the door, please? Can I just... Excuse me. Hello, excuse me. 
Yes. Hold up. Hello. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. We're good. We're, oh. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. Drowned and respawn at camp. How dare you? I think that's the play. Yeah, rather than wasting a bunch of time. Well, let me check the back rooms just in the off chance. But I think I'm just uh, kaput here. Yeah. Well, it's fun knowing you guys. Unknown, you guys. All right. Um, I have some sort of a debuff now. So my sanity. You see the sanity meter. It ticks up and it uh, depletes health in proportion to the amount of sanity that you've dropped but there are different things you can do to replenish sanity uh there'll be like different consumables that you can have to replenish sanity um let me see if i have any food that replenishes san sanity right now on me that stuff decreases it i think some of these i swear like i think it's like roasted mushrooms or something that will bring sanity back let me check these energy energy uh, it's not a huge deal. I can just go do it after. I can just like go to go to town. But there's also things called sanity gummies, which will do it as well. All right, let me um, let me go to where I believe over here is where I believe the the chest that I'm looking for will be. The blue pill does. Yeah, the sanity gummies. Yeah, I just don't have any. Do I have any? Oh, I do have one right now. I'm an idiot. Um, I actually think it's not worth using yet because it replenishes a whole 500 sanity. I should wait until I've lost more, basically. Just wait to get the enemies that shoot you, not just the deviants and boss fights. Yeah, I mean, like, the com the combat, the open world combat definitely gets more engaging. Eventually you get to humanoid enemies. There's like a, I don't know what they're called, but they're like a special forces or something. They're all like decked out and they've got assault rifles and sniper rifles and shotguns and they throw grenades and they've got like, I'm pretty sure like they have like LMG dudes and like the, the whole assortment that you expect. The, the open world combat is way more engaging because it's actually more challenging because you're dealing with projectiles at that point. Like right now I'm just clearing like this is like this is like going through and playing a uh, Assassin's Creed and just like stealth killing stealth killing 100 NPCs inside of a castle or something. You know what I mean? That's like what this starting portion of it is. But yeah, once you progress into the higher tiers and you move through the zones, then you start having overworld enemies that are actually difficult. The, 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 the real significant challenge, though, comes from, like, the dungeons and or boss fights. Like, that's when you're actually dealing with... Because the overall stuff is, by and large, meant to be on the easier side. But once you go into, like, the instance PvE content, which include the monolith bosses, as they're called. They're, like, just big single boss encounters. And then the silos are boss fights. And then there's also raids. So there is like there's like tiers to it, but yes, the the combat that you're seeing now is like the most basic of the combat, right? 
Um, I could try to see if we if I have access to a silo. I'm not sure if I've progressed far enough yet uh, since this beta started fresh. Like in the last beta, I had like four or three or four silos unlocked. I don't remember, but there was a few. And yeah, those are like the dungeons, basically. Like you clear rooms of trash, you fight a boss, there's a whole bunch of loot in between. Um, but I'm not sure if I have any right now. I can check at some point, but... But I'll be honest, I like, I don't, I kind of like this clearing camps. Just It's just like mindless fun, just like going through, collect resources, headshot a bunch of dudes, like... I like it in Far Cry, I like it in Assassin's Creed, like I... I know people are pretty down on it as a thing, but I don't, I really don't hate it. It, it is, it is what it is, right? There's like all sorts of different types of content that can be enjoyed for what, there's all, and, and I think there's a place for all of it too, right? There's a place for the easy, mindless, open world camp clearing. There's a place for the more sweaty boss fights where you gotta dodge all these mechanics and shoot the weak points and yeah, you know what I mean? But it doesn't have to be the whole time. Like, I don't I don't need to be sweating 100% of the time. <laughs> if anything, like, 50-50 is good. It's probably why I love MMOs so much, right? Because MMOs tend to have, like, a lot of more downtime chill content. Whereas, like, when I'm playing in, like... When I'm playing in, like, PUBG or something. Or when I'm playing, like, freaking uh, MOBA. When I'm playing any of those games where it's, like, you have to be drenched in sweat... 110% of the time that you're playing this game, unless you're in at the pick screen or you're in between matches queuing for the next round, you must be drenched in sweat. Like, that's just... I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a boomer, guys. I'm too old for that, for that shit. <laughs> you know? Why are you using auto aim? This no. Is there auto aim? No, dude. I'm just aiming. Did I click? Did I? Are we done? Did I just finish it? Did I just loot the last chest? I think I did. Yeah, yeah. We cleared it. Oh, there's my body. There's two sniper rounds. Is that worth going to get? Probably not because it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom of the the the. This is where I drown boat. Um. <coughs> all right. I want to go to. Let me run to camp real quick. I don't know if I can teleport while I'm still in this settlement. Let me run back home real quick, and then I'm gonna tell. Then I'm gonna go to another settlement. We'll do another settlement clear. <laughs> You can see that there's auto aim. Okay, let me let me see if I can see what you're talking about. So I'm gonna aim right next to it. And it's not locking on. With auto aim, it would snap, right? So I'm aiming down sights. And they're gonna run for me because they're scared. I'm aiming down sights above him, and it's not locking on. I'll do it. I'll do it so that his his health bar is actually even highlighted, right? One second. Go off. Uh, I'll aim just in... F uh, I want it to stop moving. So that the snapping or not snapping can be evident. Yeah, dude. It's not... There's no... It's not auto-aiming. You can see it's not aiming. So I aim... I aim and then I lock. That's just how I move my mouse. See? But you can totally aim off target. Unless you think I'm using a bot to play this easy open world PvE game, in which case, I don't know, bro. This is fucking not happening. I'm I'm just aiming and shooting. <sighs> Has there been a new update this, uh, for this? I know you're the guy for MMO News. Well, thank you. You give me too much credit. I'm a guy for my news. There's a lot. I don't know about the. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is the CBT two. There's a bunch of new different stuff from the last beta test that they did. There's also some stuff that like was in the last one that's not in this one yet, which we're a little confused by. But it's just what it is. What it is. They've been like progressing. They've been slowly rolling out the content, like basically moving through it in phases. Um, one second. 
just hold on to this stuff. I can eat all those. I'll keep my three sanity gummies. That's enough. I'll just cook these in the field so that I can just like kind of eat on the go. Uh, drop my materials, but first you want to throw stuff in the disassembly bench because you'll be carrying all this junk. This is like half the stuff that I loot. You just go like this, you disassemble it and it turns it into the actual useful materials you want. And then you have a storage for those materials. You mark materials with the materials one so it's not confusing. And then you just hit H and it transfers everything over in one big pile. I'm probably going to make a separate thing for the, um, for the grains though. Let me just take those all out because um, they're taking up a bit of space. I'll just carry them for now. I'll, I'll put up another one later or something. And then I will sleep as this refills my sanity and my HP. And they added something f funny here. There's like another progression where every few levels or something you unlock. Actually, that's a good question. Do I have more of those? Those extra bonuses? You get, like, bonuses, and you choose from a set of three. I just don't remember where they were. Can you farm? Yeah, there is, like, it's not, like, yes, there is some of that. It's probably a big deal. I, for me, it's not a big deal, but it, maybe it's a big deal, like, later on in production if you want to be, like, harvesting certain things to craft certain food recipes. But, yeah, there's, like, a whole bunch of recipes and stuff like that. And yes, there you can do like farming. There's, I mean, if you look at the build menu, I'll just pop open. Can I not do it while I'm sleeping? All right, I'm gonna let my sanity meter pull up, and then I'll show you. I'm not gonna do all the building. This is a house I built it. Thank you with my bare hands. I know it's impressive. Uh, <laughs> so this is a house you can build all sorts of stuff. There's tons of different things you can do with it. What is wrong with me? I got some, I got a problem. What is it? What's my problem? What's this? What is this? This is my... Are you playing Throne of Liberty? It's under NDA, you couldn't even stream it. Even if I were playing it right now, you wouldn't be watching me play it because it's under strict NDA. Gear needs repairing, is that what that is? Okay. Thank you. Oh no. I think we are dealing with a server issue. I try repairing gear while this is happening. Uh, unable to repair as you are not the owner. Uh, I am absolutely the owner of my pants and of my workshop. What did that say? Uh oh. There was a message on top of the screen. I'm guessing that's server issues. Well. well. But did you play it? Is it good? My guy. Turn Liberty is under NDA. Not only does that mean were I playing it, I wouldn't be streaming it. It also means had I played it, I could not tell you. <laughs> now, if, if I'm just like anonymous guy on the internet who gives a crap right i'll be like yeah i played it here's what i think but given like you know i got like i'm on i'm online and stuff like if i'm out here like breaking ndas you just i can't can't do it i think the servers are borked guys maybe i'll try relogging real quick I mean, we're coming to a conclusion here anyways, but this is not how... Alright, I'm gonna try relogging. But this is looking a little funky. Let me try relogging. I have moment. Oh, you know what, actually? Let you do this. Hold up. <laughs> Blink twice if Throne of Liberty was good. I actually don't know that I can do that without popping it down. Alright, 
one second. Where are we at? Maybe it'll work in a second. Here, let me try going back in the bed. Everything went awry as soon as I got up from sleeping. Maybe I, I need to just sleep some more, right? Can I just sleep a little more here? Can I... Okay, let me get some water. Okay, I can get the water. I can get the water out of there. That's good. We're making progress, okay. Got the water. I'm gonna get. Let me do this. I'll, I'm gonna just. Uh, we'll just see what we can do. Because uh, I don't know what's happening. Is once human under NDA? Can you? S it's not under NDA. I have spoken a pretty big length about the game, and my thoughts on it. I will tell you, I like the game. This is also a sponsor stream, so if you choose to just disregard my opinion because of that, I understand because it's sponsored content, but. There's a lot- I like the content of the game. I'm still having questions about what it's gonna launch with in terms of monetization, okay? That's really the big... It's a big thing with pretty much every MMO that comes out nowadays, uh, unfortunately. As a fan of the genre, that's just something we're dealing with. But, like, going around, if you've watched any of the stream, or if you backtrack from here on out, because we're gonna wrap up here shortly, but... Um, like, I like going around and clearing camps. It's kind of cool that they have, like, this survival stuff as well on top. Oh, yeah, I was going to show... Yeah, yeah, I, before all that, I was going to show some of this. Yeah, there's... There, there's... It's it's an open-world looter shooter with, like, MMO elements. You got other players running around. You got dungeons. You got raids. You got boss fights called monoliths. You got a whole gearing system. There's all sorts of progression. You know, if you like that stuff, they seem to have put together... a. a a good iteration of one of those. The games that I always reference when I talk about this game, it reminds me most, it's like, it's like a combination of The Division, Defiance, if you ever played Defiance, which was an open world MMO shooter, it's got some of that in it, and, and Secret World, people were talking about Hellgate London earlier, but just think of like sci-fi, ethereal, like beings from other dimensions, it's got a whole bunch of that as well, a lot of the enemies, a lot of the bosses, like there's a boss where there's like tendrils coming like out of the sky and like you have to shoot these massive floating hands that are like shooting projectiles at you there's there's houses that just get up on feet and walk around like you'll have a house that looks like this and it'll just uproot itself and start walking around on feet there's another there's like a bus too you might see a bus roll by one time it's like a spider bus it's got like eight legs and it's rolling through so there's like also all sorts of stuff like that um and it's it, it's pretty cool like I've, I've liked it for what it is uh, you know, I don't know about how the progression is going to feel late game when it comes out because we're only getting we're only getting things in snippets here in the beta. And, you know, depending on how the progression is gated and how that may or may not be tied into a shop that that that's to be determined and we'll cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. But none of that stuff's present in the beta, so I can't really talk to it. But obviously the possibility always exists, right? Especially in a game where you have a lot of progression systems and a lot of unlocks, and if there's things that are gated, which there are, in terms of how quickly you can acquire them naturally. Like, that's all that's all the crap that we deal with in, in all of our MMOs, right? So, we'll, we'll again, we'll just see where it ends up landing um, when all is said and done. Someone asked about the building. Uh, so yeah, it's got all the survival stuff. Like you can just, like any survival game, you can build a base and many, many stations. I'm not gonna do it all right here, but I can just show you like what it includes. So there's all the base building stuff, like the actual physical construction of the building, and you can do it however you want within the parameters of your base. So this is a tier one base right now, and it's already pretty big. Like look at the parameters, right? So this is the tier one version. You can upgrade the tiers and that increases the parameters in which you can build, okay? So you build whatever you want out of all those pieces. Um, and then, God, the servers are dying. And then there's interior stuff. So there's include stairs, different things, windows, whatever, right? Uh, but then there's all the facilities. So there's crafting facilities, all sorts of stuff, workbenches, <coughs> intermediate workbenches, supply workbenches, gear workbenches, 
uh, furnaces, electric stoves, you know, all sorts of stuff. There's different storage facilities, including ones like refrigerators, so you can keep food longer and it doesn't die over time. There's uh, turrets and traps, so there's like base defense mechanics. And there used to be, like a year or two ago, I don't know how long ago, I think it was a year ago that I watched a video where there was like base attacking and like raiding, like base raiding, like attack and defense, right? So you could set up defenses. I guess maybe like Ark, that's a survival game that does it, or Rust, for example. Uh, it's got stuff like that that you can do. Functional stuff, whatever. Agriculture, people are asking about farming. Yes, there's farming, there's planting boxes, you can put down soil, you put stuff in there. Rainwater collections, which I just pulled dirty water from, and then you boil that dirty water into clean water, and then you can drink that water, that's how you keep your hydration meter up, and when you keep your hydration meter up, your stamina regenerates better. All, all, those, all those survival systems. Power generation. Uh, the furnitures that you place down, you know, and I've only like I've just started in this beta So there's still a lot for me to unlock this you can color everything and what whatever, you know, so Yeah, it's got a lot of different stuff like that So and that's all on top of like all the open world all like the open world Looter shooter MMO stuff that the game also has um, It's got like this whole extra layer of the survival systems and mechanics and whatnot but the servers appear to be having a hard time, and um, now's about when I'm was gonna be wrapping up anyway. So I guess that's gonna do it for today's stream. Uh, thank you guys for coming out uh, once again. Thanks to uh, Starry Studios for sponsoring the stream. If you guys want to check the game out, they run the CBT from now up until I believe it is planned for mid May. Yeah, it started last week on April 4th or 5th, and it's supposed to be running for about a month and a half. So it was like got a month and a half. I said it earlier, but I'll say it again for people who might just have shown up or whatever. If you're going to check out a game like this, it's probably best to check it out in the beta before launch, because as we know, when launch happens, that's when and if you're going to be uh, walking into shops, in-game shops. So the beta is the time where I like to play these. Like the Arc Age beta, I, I said it earlier, dude, I played Arc Age, the beta had a blast, game came out, we know how that played out, and people weren't exactly thrilled, but hey, I got to enjoy the version of the game when that stuff wasn't in it, so we'll see how this all ends up panning out, um, but as a core, like the game of it, I played the beta, last beta a bunch, I'm playing this beta again, I just like going around doing open world stuff. Uh, it's got it's got all of that. It's got the camps to clear. It's got the dungeons. It's got the raids, and it, that, that's fun to do. And I'm, I, I've been enjoying it up until this point. So that's it for the stream, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah, if you guys want to learn more about the game, by the way, I did do a pretty thorough like overview video from like a month and a half ago, where I really go through because it's different in a stream, right? Where I'm showing you stuff live, but in the edited video, I really go through like, here's the systems, here's the features, here's the content, here's the stuff you can see in the game. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, that video was up on, on my channel from, from, I think it was December or early January when we up, up, uploaded it, but just, just like YouTube forced gaming, uh, once human and you should see it there. Um, if you want like a more concise overview and detailed walkthrough of everything and actually going to see it but that's it for the stream thanks for chilling um i might stream some more other games next week there's a few things on the docket that i'm going to be playing so we might do some streams of it we have a um, uh new stuff coming out i don't know if this is under embargo so i'm not going to say any more but there's other games happening and things occurring stuff that i will be playing so uh yeah you'll probably see one or two streams from me as well next week um, just regular streams, not sponsored streams, but, but yeah. Cool, it's a, it's a busy month. There's actually a lot going on this month. I'm pretty excited, so. But that's it for this stream. Thanks, everyone. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, right? Chill.